you guys, my name is Percy. Welcome to my channel, welcome to today's vlog where I'm gonna show you guys today an honest review of my own personal car, the BMW M550i xDrive. I believe I bought this car somewhere around um, October to November last year, 20, 2018. And um, the reason I, why I have this car is my other car, the Atlas, uh, broke down. And um, I have to have that Atlas is my only car, so I have to have another vehicle to commute to school. To you know, you have to have a vehicle here in the state, and that's why I chose this car, the M550i. I was actually thinking in between the M550i and M4 and M5 or C63. The reason why I don't choose the M4 is because although the M4 is a really proper car, it's a really good car. It, it also, I think it's 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 I think it's more. I think it's um, if it's four probably probably be four more comfortable than five and. Um, to be honest, I just like how the 5 Series look because I also have another 5 Series back in my own uh, my country, China. Um, the C63 I also like in particular, but the C63 st the sticker price starts somewhere around 78, which doesn't give me a lot of option to choose, and there's not a lot of promotions in Mercedes at that moment. And the reason why I don't choose the M5 is just because my budget is not enough. I cannot afford an M5 by any chance, so um, yeah. Basically, after I got this car, I started modding it. The first mod that I ever had on this car is actually the the, the tiny wing. The, the factory do come with a tiny little spoiler on the back. Uh, it's so small that there's no way that it does anything aerodynamically to the car so I basically just swap that into a carbon fiber one which today's a hot day it's super hot on the surface of this carbon ceramic no, no, not carbon ceramic what am I saying carbon fiber carbon fiber oh it's hot carbon fiber rear wing which looks super cool it actually changed the entire stance of this car that's the, actually the first mod I've ever done to it I have no idea what kind of aerodynamic what kind of thing it does aerodynamically to the car but I got this basically just for the look. The second mod I have ever done to the car is basically changing the wheels. So factory come with 19 inch wheels. I will include a picture in in the video later on, but it just def definitely not look as good as this. This is a set of Asante wheels. Um, they are fairly cheap. They are definitely not some high end HRE wheels, those kind of stuff. 20 inch. Um, I cost I think 2500 for the entire set, so I'll say that's a pretty good bargain. Uh, they're pretty sturdy, I check online and this brand has some pretty good r reviews of it. And I, I also changed the rubber wrapping around the, the wheels. The factory come with the uh, run flat, which creates a huge amount of road noise. And the ride quality is simply just not good. So I changed the um, wheels to Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, 245, 35, 20 in the front, and 275, 30, 20 in the back. I'm thinking about upside the wheel again because I know Dynan can actually ch uh, change the wheel dimension to all the way to 295 and 265. That's actually a. Uh, uh, I'll prefer that. So I'm thinking about changing the um, wheels probably next summer because you don't you definitely don't want to drive this around the. Uh, around in the winter because even with winter tires last year I almost lost, lost control like the snow in New York area is just if you live in New York you will know right now the other tune that I have had is an entire exhaust system the exhaust system that I got is from AC Schneider it's a cat back exhaust it's also valve controlled in comfort mode uh, I believe there's a valve in this pipe, there's a valve in this pipe that's gonna close and this pipe actually runs through all the um, muffler system. 
the two at the two pipe on the side does not run through any sort of muffler system. This car does not have a resonator and it does have a muffler but only this pipe come with a muffler. So in sport it's basically just full straight pipe. It this car does not even have a cat catalytic converter because I have um, I have um, got a cal cal D cat down pipe also installed um, with RK tunes just as my tunes. My I got my uh, I got my car flash ECU flash. Actually, I, I'll say dyno too. I don't know. I, I don't actually know the difference because this car has been on a dyno and um, uh, stock. It runs 400 wheel horsepower on the dyno. I forgot the I forgot about the torque number. And after the flash, the car runs 550 wheel horsepower and um, 610 pound-feet of torque. So um, that's basically it for all the mod I have done to the car. I haven't actually done any um, hardware performance tune to the car yet. I tried to look for some intakes, but um, I, I got no result or some bad results people change it and there's a check engine light those kind of stuff so i'm still thinking on that part also um, i got this awesome front splitter from also from AP front splitter and spoiler but due to the low ground clearance as you guys can see here a trip to new york city and um did not end very well i already got the new one shipped into the into the store and um, they're painting it right now the car this one this piece comes unpainted on prime nothing so they have to be prepared to be fitted on the car I already got the I already got that in the shop and the shop are doing other jobs whenever they are finished they will call me and I'll reinst reinstall that part talk about the interior of this car this car basically shares the exact same interior as every other 5 series, depending on your model. You might get different options. Mine in particular have the active cruise control, therefore having these two little buttons, the lane keep and the car distance keep, I would say uh, that's what it's doing. I don't know the correct term for that. Um, also, I'm not, what I'm not getting is the head-up display and the um, full digital dash since these two actually come together if you want to head up display you have to have a, a digital dash this is like half digital half um um the old one analog one it's not actually analog it's have a side if, if i just start it up if i just start it up real quick you guys you guys can actually see the side the, the two circle parts lights up that's just just basic it basic LED lights that's not that's not a real screen the screen is the middle part and the two little gauges the two little dials on the side so a uh, full leather wrap steering wheel I'll say actually if the BMW can offer an Alcantara or a suede version that'll be really better because in the summer everything's okay because you have a little bit of hand on your, on your palm that's just normal and um, you have enough grip but in the winter sometimes this leather gets really slippery and you ha really have to hold it hold it tight that's like a downside of the steering wheel but i do like it and this one do come through the winter package which which also include that i don't know if you guys can see it now it's in the shade it's the little this this little switch right here which is the heated steering wheel i find that pretty useful i'll say i was thinking about changing the steering wheel uh maybe mod modifying the steering wheel change it to maybe part carbon fiber part alcantara but i but no matter what i want to change the steering wheel where i'm always going to lose the um heated heated steering wheel option so that is actually a reason why i was thinking back and forth should i change it or should i not um to the door, the door, the driver door. You can act, you have all the buttons, the the windows, and the child lock. I'll say for the windows, and uh, it's pretty traditional. You just change, flip, and change your mirrors like all the other cars. But instead, 
if you flip it to the left and you and you shift your shift knob to the um, reverse the passenger side mirror actually folds the mirror not the mirror cap the mirror folds down to let you see um, how close you are to the curb <coughs> that is a pretty sometimes it's useful sometimes it's not whenever I most of the time I just flip it to the right so that up that function is turned off but I, when I really need to check how close I am to the curb I will just flip it to the left and it will do the job for me in the center here is some um, still classic BMW BMW haven't changed this I think in two or three years um, the top part is um, your radio which I actually basically never used I always just connect to CarPlay and play what Spotify plays me and um, these are seven preset buttons I think these although there's one downside is that you cannot preset a CarPlay app into these buttons my first one is um, sport display which gives me um, I don't know you guys I think this now you guys can see it from 0 to 560 horsepower and 0 to 800 newton meter of torque I'm, <clears throat> I'm from China so newton meter all the metric stuff actually fits me better except for horsepower I believe I think horsepower basically just sounds better than kilowatts. Kilowatts is... You rarely heard, heard anyone use kilowatts. Everybody use horsepower, horsepower, horsepower. Okay, so a, f a funny thing is when the car comes in stock, I think the new to meet the torque only goes to 0 to 720, which now goes to 800. And the horsepower actually get only go to 0 to 480 horsepower. And after I tune it, I don't know whether that's included in the tune or the engine can sense it out. I believe it's in the tune. Now the power goes all the way to 560 horsepower and the torque goes to 800 newton meter of torque. Um, speaking of, now it's basically just, just a basic AC system. I believe probably only the 7 series in, 7 series in the States offers a full digital AC system. Uh, the full digital AC system means all the buttons you see here are not physical buttons. They are like a, they're on a screen. That's what I had in my um, that's what my mom had with her car back in China. Oh, uh, but but I have all these physical buttons, which actually feels pretty sturdy, and I like physical buttons because they give you a response that you pressed it. Sometimes a screen, you, you're questioning yourself, did I press it or did I not? If, if nothing changed, if you change the temperature, you always have to look, um, those kind of stuff. So this is just a pre pretty, pretty normal air conditioning thing, you know, there's temperature changing. If you, if you press sync, then whatever you do on the driver's side, the passenger side will do it well. But the passenger side always stays dependent independent always stay independent you turn the passenger side the driver side won't change and if you, and if you press think everything goes back to the what the driver side was set up and um, the gauges cross the gear knobs this is all just simple part simple things the like all just co really really common five series you have the shift knob and the classic BMW shift knob P, P stands for park and reverse actually you, you push to the front you have reverse push to the back you have drive so um, a lot of my friends said they have to get used to it because they all when they want to reverse they just push it back a bit which is which gives you neutral um, I, I, I would say that the uh, you, you get used to that really quick and I think that's actually quite useful it's really you don't have to look because you really use neutral you just push in the front your reverse and pull it back it goes back all the way into drive and now we have the driving mode selector which we have sport comfort and eco pro most of the time I drive in sports sport we have we actually have three options for sports sport plus sport individual and uh, regular sport sport individual is configurable 
you know what let me show you guys right now if I go to if I just press this see that's now we're in comfort if I press sport then we have plus standard and individual I always driving plus plus it's just basically everything in the most sportiest setting as possible and uh, sport individual I think I set it to uh, let me just configure this real quick the dampings are sport uh, the engines the wait 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 wait, wait. okay <laughs> that goes to Apple play okay <laughs> So let me just configure individual damping we have we basically can only choose from sport and comfort steering we have sport and comfort the two choice engine we have sport comfort and sport plus which sport in individual most of the time i choose the engine in sport plus i believe when i got the tune they set everything back to factory settings every time i tune this car every time i flash the ecu the ecu goes back to like a factory reset so that's probably why this was changed and transmission I choose that in sport I choose that in sport because if I choose sport plus and everything is basically just the same as sport plus when I'm using the transmission in sports since the gear shifts actually quicker so they um they shift probably between 2000 200 500 so that's uh, when I'm driving in sport individual, I don't have so much pops, so that's why I can drive in a neighborhood probably in the day in sport individual. And if I want, if I really want to drive, you know, um, sporty, I'll go to sport plus on a highway so the engines can now pop and do all kind of kind of stuff. Yeah, and also the seat support. The seat support, I have to say, these seats are pretty comfortable. The side, the the side supports right here this and that I think they're might they might I'm pretty sure that they're inflatable when you are turning toward the right let's say your body goes to the left and this this part right here will actually inflate and support you and you can also control how wide it's open and how tight you want to be um, since this is a more of a daily driving car it's not this is not actually meant to be driven on track all the time Although you definitely can track this car, but I mean the purpose of that is just not driving on track. So that's why these are not actually um, there's no way close to a sport bucket seat. That's why I prefer this kind of stuff. You can drive a long time. I have to do a, I have did a lot of road trip, and I mean it also comes with lumbar support, both the passenger and um, driver. So you actually f don't feel that tired. And plus the thing, I, the um, adaptive cruise control I talked from the beginning. These two func, these two buttons, they are like the, I'll say the best in, invention in twenty first century. Do in bumper to bumper traffic, which is the most tiring one. You can actually just click this button first, set a cruise control speed and uh, click this one to activate lane departure intervention and um, select your preferred um, distance to the front vehicle and then you can basically just let off the gas stretch your legs a little bit and um, you shouldn't keep your hand off the steering wheel but you definitely can um, if you leave if you stay uh, remove your hand from the steering wheel for too long it will the, the car will the car will notify you that you know keep driving i'm not i'm not autonomous driving i'm just helping you to drive so that's kind of stuff and also this the here oh my god pretty nice. uh just two basic cup holders and the storage area you can get a wireless charging if you can get this place to be a, a wireless charging if you want to but i don't really think that's to be honest i think that is necessary but i just did not get it when i got the car i did not come the, this car myself i basically just go to a dealer and pick this up so um, yeah this is you can close that or you can open that i have i got the wood trim to be honest i like the wood trim you can get this piano black or partial carbon not partial carbon fiber basically just looks like carbon fiber i think i personally i don't like piano black because all these trims are already piano black and piano black really collects fingerprints they might be not showing on camera but this part is just full of fingerprints fingerprints all over the place the wood trims however they um they look pretty um classy uh, 
and they don't actually collect that much fingerprints. That's like the best part I that I like this car. No, no, no. That's the best part that I like wood trim. I mean, the wood, some, somebody thinks the wood trims make you look old, but to be honest, who cares? Um, and we have a central st storage area over here. The storage area, basically, just I just put my sunglasses, some um, Tylenol, and some some coins here, and. Um, uh, glove compartment. Glove compartment is where I put all my documents, uh, except for the driver license, which I carry on me. Like not the title. The title I keep it in my house, but the registration, the insurance, um, all the tickets that I got before, those kind of stuff. I keep everything in there. And. I think every BMW actually have a little secret compartment that only the driver knows. Nobody else knows. I wouldn't say it's hidden, but it's definitely not very obvious. Uh, which is right here. I can keep like uh, some chopsticks, maybe cigarettes, or maybe changes, those kind of stuff. I think the 2017 one does not come with a suede, suede, uh, suede insert inside here. It was just beer plastic, and um, people don't like it that much. So that's why I believe we have actually stuff some lines into to the back. The back you can, I think it's just pretty spacious. I have plenty of amount of leg room, and I'm six six foot two. I have somewhat of headroom, um, but most of the time you won't be sitting like this. I believe in the in the back, the most passenger seats, and the most probable comfort way ever like like that probably I don't know I think it's just pretty it's pretty spacious for me I have never actually sit in the back before there's somewhat a pocket right here uh, probably can fit some documents maybe I, I really doubt this whether this can fit a water bottle oh it actually can fit a water bottle right here um, the back of the door is just simple, you got the handle, you got the lock, you have your window control and that's it. That's actually... Yeah, I mean, I can totally imagine myself sitting behind here for a road trip that's gonna last, I don't know, five to six hours maybe. I mean, it's good. I can, I can take a nap inside it. And the headdress is adjustable. For me, I have to pull it up a bit to make everything comfortable, I'll say, um, yeah, I'll say the, this is Percy approved back feet, alright? I mean, there's two, actually, there's two air ventilation channel over here where you can adjust the amount of air you want to get and adjust the temperature. I don't actually know how to control this. I mean, I do. I can set the temperature in the front, but I don't know whether this is gonna work. Will this change the heat or the cold? I don't. I don't actually know to be honest. And there's two plug, two 12 volt plug-in port right here, and two storage area. The bottom one is actually quite spacious. I can, I can fit at least a phone in it. I can fit my hand in it. But the top one, to be honest, I don't know whether I should try to show you guys. Let me try. That's like two inch deep. Not even two inch, an inch deep. I don't know. I don't know what kind of thing you can fit in there actually. And um, speaking of storage, do we have a storage area in the central armrest? Oh, it looks like a storage area, but I don't think we have one. That's funny. Like, look at this party. It looks like you can just flip it like any other cars, but no. Oh, rather than that, we have a cup holder. I do know the cup holder for one quite special quirk is that it's adjustable. You put your water in here. Your water bottle is not big enough for the cup holder. Uh, not big enough for the cup holder. Yes, it starts wobble. What can you do? You can flip this inside of it to squeeze it. Literally squeeze it more to the more to the center. So you can cap them. I, I mean, like the cup holder is it's fairly deep enough. I would say so. Um, that's actually a very good thought from BMW to keep 
all your liquids from spilling everywhere inside this cabin. So, um, good job, BMW. And, um, I believe, let me see. Oh, shit. Never mind. <laughs> I believe that this can be folded down somewhat. Let me just put this thing back up. I think, oh, right, here it is. And that will give you the trunk area. I think um, the, the reason why BMW um, allows you to open this one in particular is for a skiing. You can actually put your skis straight through there so you can still have two people sitting comfortably behind the, behind the, um, on the rear seats while you guys are traveling with, I would say this can fit at least two pairs of skis. At least two pairs. I I'm, I do a lot of winter sports, so I know the dimensions of all the gears. And um, although the rear seat do falls falls back for um, two and one, these two have to fold down together if you want to fold on this rear. If you want to fold on this rear seat, the left one, the driver's side one, you have to fold on the middle part. But you do not have to do that if you only want to fold on the passenger part and child baby anchors I have I don't have a I never used a ch ch like a baby suit before so I don't actually know how to install that but to be honest that looks pretty that looks pretty easy to use for me I think I think here's the anchor I still again I never used a child seat before so I mean they're obvious they're easy to flip I have no idea how easy it is it is gonna be to um use this child seat anchor okay let's move into the trunk have powered tailgates um that's i like this part where you don't actually have to do anything you just click the button right here there's a button right here you can click it and it will open it for you uh, the trunk is pretty straight spacious i can fit uh three or four luggages in here no problem and now it's all fitted in my camera gear and um you get your first aid kit right here and a little compartment where I put my funnel and a flashlight there. You have another little compartment where I fit, put my, um, this is my manual, this is my front plate and some of the tools in front. Um, I think the, the US one does not come with the triangle thing. The, yeah, because in, in a lot of other countries, the warning signals the triangle warning signals are mandatory so that's why bmw actually give a mounting point right here but the us one that is not necessary so that they actually skip that they only give you like this little plate where i can't put it back god god, god come on come on come on come on it's secured yeah it's okay Okay, there's one special quirk that I want to show you guys. Let me just grab my keys real quick. My keys is right here. See? My key is right here. With your keys, with or without your keys, you can press this button to um, close the trunk. And with your keys, you can press the lock button, which not only closes your trunk, it also locks all your doors. But this is... First, let me close this for you. The trunk is now closed and um, with your keys in your hand or on your body you just do this and the car this is the most sensitive um, trunk opener I have ever used there's a lot of cars that feature this option but the BMW ones I have to say is the best one that I have ever used I don't know whether they just close the trunk or not let me try oh we actually do close the trunk and whenever you're closing the trunk um, remotely instead of pressing that button like closing it in the car or using that function the trunk will actually beep for you it's sort of like letting you letting people know that the trunk is closing don't get stuck
that's it for today's video. If you guys liked today's videos, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. There's more than more content coming real quick. I'll, pro I'll see you guys in next video. I will stay just a few days and